Yo, what's up, guys? Today we're heading off to Thailand. Thailand. So, what do you call? Well, uh, basically, here is my setup. I pack my underwear, t shirts, you got electronics, a tripod, some socks. What's in your, 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 your luggage bag today? This one. Wow, a party animal t-shirt that's been worn for 20 years. Well done. <laughs> Fading and everything. This awesome. is my pyjamas. Your pyjamas? Nice. I bring a lot of clothes because I need to take photos. That's true. So um, I have about... You have no space. ...an outfit for every day. What's that pink sausage looking thing that's vibrating over there though? This one. <laughs> I was just kidding, but okay. Yeah, what is that? It's not vibrating, but it's pink and it's a sausage. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna close this up because my luggage bag has something pretty cool. Ready? Shazam! Whole bunch of stickers from all the countries I have been to. Some of my favorites would be the Rockley, Inigasha, you've got a high beast Itachi. And now for our own. Johnny Day stickers. You guys can get this travel to eat sticker. And it also comes in t-shirts and hoodies. On our website, Teespring. Check it out. Yay. Good day. Hello. Hello. Does this place look familiar? We are at the Melbourne International Airport waiting for our flight. It's about 8.30 right now. And uh, our flight's been delayed eight to nine hours. We're gonna get to Bangkok about 5 a.m. 5 a. to 6 a.m. So we're just gonna we don't know what to do. Yes. Sweaty, slimy seaweeds right now. But let's talk about that airport fashion. Yes. What are you wearing, girl? I oh, am yes. wearing just a black hoodie nice. and black leggings because I'm all about comfort, comfort. over style. I am wearing my North Face and I also have a little puffer vest in my bag because mm -hmm. I get really cold in the airplane. <laughs> I get like a runny nose and my hay fever acts up, so I have to use um, my mouth mask. What I do is I get two pieces of tissue, stick it up my nose, cover the mouth mask, and I'm good. Oh, nice hair, babe. Thank you. Oh, yes. Oh. I forgot to mention yeah. I did dye my hair. It's purple now for this season. Yeah, but this I'll lighting it makes it look burgundy. Is but it? It is what it, it's actually oh, very God. purple. It's really purple in real life. Mm. Yeah. Do you like it? Let us know. See you in Thailand, guys. See you. Wow. We're in Bangkok. It is 4 a.m. right now. I'm a greasy seaweed. It's 5 a.m. and that was the longest immigration I've ever been in. One hour. And then I did my fingers wrong and then I held up the line. Oh really? <laughs> it was like, put it closer. What did you do? Did you give him the Tyrannosaurus? Yeah, like... no, I was like too far away from the uh, scanner. Quick so flood. I just scan like half of my fingers. So we just got a SIM card at the Happy Tourist SIM located at the airport. We got 8.5 gigs for 300 baht. Which is 14 Australian dollars. Wow. Cheap, cheap, so cheap. Saucy mark. We are taking our tuk-tuk to our hotel right now. Hi everyone. So today we're staying at the Shangri-La Hotel in Bangkok. Let's check it out. Room 1165. Hello. Welcome to the room. 
Oh yeah, let's check it out. So we have been in the room already. We're all fresh, We're all showered. Fresh, ready to eat. But first, look at this magnificent room. You got a little seating area here. You got a nice little couch. You got this area. Look at that. Is that a golden, very, very long hand? And over here we got a plate of fruits and also famous fruit oh, Thailand. Actually, I want to know what this one is called in English. I know what it's called in Vietnamese, but I don't know what it's called in English. What's it called in Vietnamese? In Vietnamese, it's called Jom Jom. Oh. <laughs> jom Jom. Jom Jom. Oh, there it is. It's a rambutan. <laughs> How creepy is this? That's long actually so weird. Fingers. Why? They're so they're long. Like, the fingers are so long as well. Yeah. Oh! Oh dear lord. We don't even have to look for these. <laughs> oh yes. I saw that. We got slippers once we checked in. I'm mm -hmm. very, very happy with that. Very nice. Um, Very comfortable. soft as well. You could use that as a pillow and sleep there while I sleep on this massive bed. I like this giant blue thing here. <laughs> if you got sleep apnea or um, I don't know, you could sleep standing. Here's an area for Delana to get ready. You can see she already has um, her stuff out. The Delina bag, mirror. Let's suss the mirror here. See if you guys can see me. <laughs> So we got here an hour ago. We had to check in first because we were really... How beautiful smelly. is this bathroom? It's beauty! I love it. I love how there's like a these side mirrors so you can see yourself three times. Hi. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh, here you got the bathtub. Shall we do a test? Yeah, test that. Okay. These test are new shoes, shoe. by the way. Yeah, Brand new shoes. New. So don't worry. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, this is really spacious. That's nice. <sighs> I feel like a queen. Nice. So luxurious. Here we've got the shower, toilet. Oh, what is this one? Is this a bidet? These are the fluffiest, squishiest pillows ever. Did you hear that? It makes us, it makes us, oh my God, so comfy. Um, not too sure what this is, uh, I think it's, um... That's... Is that what it's for? <laughs> I think every hotel in Australia has a Bible, but in Thailand, it's the teaching of Buddha. So when we checked in, the lady at the front desk gave us this. Yay, what is that? Fresh flowers. Oh, can you eat it? No, it oh. smells really nice though. We also got complimentary drinks at check-in and yes. you have to, I think this is common in Thailand, but you got a security check oh, yeah, your bags yes. before you come into the hotel. That's You've got to scan everything through like you're at an airport. So no laptops, no laptop. Yeah. And everyone greets you like this. No drink. Ooh, but what's out here? Let's check out the view. Oh, oh here. Yeah. Unlock this. Oh, wow. Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh my. Oh wow, Thailand. Bangkok, 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 beautiful. And we're gonna go on one of these cruise ships tonight and have dinner. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yes. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna go get some breakfast now at the Riverside Lounge, which is located downstairs in the lobby. Yay. Let's go. Breakfast tour. Let's check out what they have. Yay. So these? Oh, cereal. Cereal. I'm hungry. <gasps> My favorite. What's this? You know, I love breakfast in Asia because they have congee at all the hotel buffets. Yeah, congee's great. And congee. Yeah. With the condiments. 
soy sauce, some dried fish, <gasps> herbs, dumplings. Yeah. Oh man. Yes. Seaweed stuffed rolls with shrimp, chicken oh. dim sum. There's a bow. And a chicken bun. Is this a buffet? You can get as much as you want? Yes, it is. Incredible. I'm excited. You got some wiener dogs. Look, this is pork and cheese sausage and plain chicken sausage. And here... Yeah. <gasps> noodles! Ooh, are those the hockey noodles? This looks so delicious. Fried yellow noodles. Vegetarian. Vegetarian. Ooh, and the chili oil as well. I can't wait wow, to eat it. Wow, look at these. Thailand really know how to make their chili fish sauces. Look at that, look at that! This smells so good. What is that? This is a chicken and mushroom burger. Wow. It's a burger patty. Hamburger. Oh, what's this? Oh, miso soup. Miso soup. They even you have got sushi. Sushi. Oh, wow. that looks delicious. They have a lot of different cuisines here. You have like Chinese, Japanese, Thai. A bit of everything, yeah, really. Yeah, westernized. And here well. are the sweets. Bread, croissants. You've got some meiji. I think they're yogurts. This one's a uh, coconut one. Let's take it. Can we eat now? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Here we have the breakfast menu where you can order um, fresh eggs, any style that you want. You've got French toast, pancakes, waffles, uh, coffee and tea, which I've got myself right here. And look at the view. Look at the view. You got a little koi fish spitting little waters out, man. Are those the, the plates that we... That's tiny. These are the only plates available. We need about 20 gonna, of these. We... So, babe, here's all our food for breakfast and this looks brilliant. I mean, look at this French toast. The chef made it specifically for us. Well, for everyone. You can order off the menu. You get it. Here's our omelet with the lot. You got a little hash brown. You got some mushrooms, asparagus, tomato, and here's everything that we got ourselves. A whole bunch of delicious goodies. Made with congee. Let's dig in. Yes. Guys, I absolutely love French toast, and this looks. So, I don't want to say it, but it looks so good. <laughs> so fluffy. You've got maple syrup, some cream, some berry syrup too. Oh my, oh, guys, have a bite of that. Have a bite for me. All right, I'm gonna put a bit of cream on it. Oh. it smells so good. It smells so sweet and buttery. Oh, mommy. There's some sugar crystals on that. That is just blowing my mind right now. So tasty, fluffy, delicious. I'm gonna order at least five of these. Let's try this little omelet, look at it. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, look at that. You've got some ham, tomato, onions, mushroom in there. Let's try this. It's so eggy. Bouncy. Nice amount of crunch. Sugoi. Kamkum kap. Swati kap. Shangri-La. Amazing. I want to try the dumpling. This is a prawn dumpling. Happy, I'm so happy. And I love congee. I feel like you can like never go wrong with congee. Nice. Oh, yeah, so Listen, I'm way too hungry right now. We just got off a nine hour flight that was delayed for nine hours. And it is nine o'clock right now, so we need to eat. We will see you soon. Mm. Bye. Come on, man. <laughs> what happened? I sprayed it all over myself. What? <laughs> breakfast was awesome. Delicious. It was so delicious. My stomach is so satisfied. Definitely one of the good buffet breakfasts. So good. <laughs> oh, oh.
mày ra ngoài cái này cho người Việt Nam. Hi. It's a blazing hot afternoon. Yes. We've got our pants on to head to the temple. Temple? Yes, we're going to the Grand Palace, the Emerald Buddha, and what for, which is the reclining Buddha. So you have to dress appropriately for it. Yeah. So which means no shorts, no skirts, no singlets, and no thongs. And also, we're taking a boat there, which costs 15 baht. You can take a taxi, but a boat is macho recommendo. Yes. And make sure to wear sunscreen and wear a hat, which we forgot to bring. Bring sunglasses, which we also forgot. So we'll probably go and get some at the market. Okay, let's go. Yes. So for a hundred baht, you get a life jacket <laughs> and also a ride on this little boat, motorized by this man. Incredible. We're going straight to the palace. fun experience for a hundred baht you get to go on that little speed boat it took about what 20 minutes and we are here now heading towards the palace are you, are you a bit seasick man it was really rocky but i'm okay now very sweaty it's so hot man thailand god damn don't lose so much weight i'm not it is really hot in Thailand, so make sure to carry a bottle with you everywhere and keep hydrated. Also, a quick tip when going to the Grand Palace, make sure you go straight through the gates and ignore everyone that tries to approach you, even if they can speak English, because 90% of the time, they're all scammers. So just keep going, ignore them, and do your thing. Yeah, it, is... it should be 500 baht yes. to get in. Yes. No more, no less. Yes. So walking up to the palace, already two guys have come up to us and been like, Hey, bo hey boy, hey, do you want to see the palace? You want, you want to buy sad? I'm like, come on, bro. Please. I know how it is, man. I've seen the YouTube videos. But if they scam us, babe, yeah. we'll get more views. So maybe we should go and show them the experience of getting scammed. What do you say? No. Okay. We already got scammed in Hong Kong. <laughs> Buying some fans, 100 baht, probably not worth that much. But, you know, help the guy out. You know what I'm saying? Which one? Help him out. Probably the pinker one. <laughs> Hi, Princess. You're sweating so much. I know. Right now. I should, I'm. I should show the viewers. Babe, I'm not sure if this is the Thai Palace or. Universal Studios because this place is massive. It is very popular. There is a lot of people here. We're here at around 11 a.m. It opens at 8.30 a.m. So I recommend going during the day, morning, early time. <laughs> It's my Thai brother, Con, Connie. So for a thousand baht, you get two really long strips tickets. Yay, there's the entrance guys. Don't get scammed, all right? I've heard terrible stories where tuk-tuk drivers take you to jade shops and clothing stores and all these ridiculous places. All you need to do is buy the ticket where I just showed you and you're good to go. Stay safe in Thailand, save money. This is the house I'm gonna buy you one day. That one. I meant that one, sorry. That's pretty nice. I like it. So we're here at the Grand Palace, which is the most famous landmark in Bangkok. It was built in 1782 and is home to the Thai King for 150 years. So we're gonna go have a look around. Con! Oh my bad, this is my group right here. I'll see you later, babe. Bye. 
Wow, pay attention to that fine detail. <laughs> Look at these, it's glitter steroids. Japan have kappa, Korea have Korean Jesus, Thailand have this lady. God damn. She thick boy. Babe, what do you reckon? Huh? My ideal type has changed. <laughs> so we just visited the temple of the Emerald Buddha and also the Grand Palace. So they're both right next to each other. So make sure to visit those two when you're here in Bangkok. I hope you heard me. That lady went off. Calm down. And that was uh, the palace. Great stuff. 500 baht. I don't think. I don't think. Come on. I mean, it's great. I think it's worth visiting once in your life, but going again is not worth it because it's quite expensive for one person. And plus, I'm getting toasted. But it's part of the experience. Thank you, Thailand. This has been fun. So we decided to take a tuk-tuk back to our hotel. It's a little bit cheaper and no motion sickness. So up to you guys what you want to do. On a ferry heading towards Icon Siam, which is a huge mall for shopping and eating. Yes, and it's brand new, so we're going to check it out. Yeah, and this ferry is free, zero baht, so make sure you guys jump on it. It costs you a dollar, man, it's so good. And here we are, Icon Siam, a massive store with luxury shit and a beautiful girl. Yay, let's go. So we're here to grab some lunch, and this is like a modern Thailand. I mean, this store's so cool. You got like street vendors in a way. You got restaurants all over the place, and then shopping for eight levels. There are eight levels here. Hey, we have just entered Singapore. Welcome to Gardens by the Bay. <laughs> Look at this cute ass elephant. Guys, treat elephants with animal equality yes all right please make sure that when you visit thailand don't go riding the elephants don't go to the tiger zoos where you know you can pet them or whatever because they get treated really badly and it's not right for the animals it ain't right so please don't do any elephant riding and anything that's unnatural for animals that elephant has a humongous trunk look how big that trunk is <laughs> This is incredible. You'll never see this kind of stuff in such a fancy modern mall. Antiques, dried squid and foods, people getting massages. Oh my lord. Yo, that's the nicest escalator I have ever seen. It's a dragon. Wow. Let's ride that dragon, yo. I'm going up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Babe, this is crazy. This is like a museum. I mean, look at this. You can actually get on that little bridge and chill in this area, which is a restaurant or something. I feel like it's all of Thai culture in one place. Yeah. And you can also do shopping at the same time. Crazy. Old and new design all in one. And this is just the second level. Oh, wow. Can we check out down there? Oh, oh. Is it? Look at this. This lake inside a mall and they're cooking right by it. Over there too. Incredible. Look at this 7-Eleven guys. Do they sell high feast luxury items in here? You got some luxury snacks? Because that's an LED screen showing how many 7-Elevens there are. Oh my lord. We'll save that for another time, definitely. By far one of the coolest malls I have ever been to, if not the best. And we're spoiled for choices. There's so many things to eat here. We don't even know where we're gonna, or what we're gonna eat. I mean, food's everywhere right now. 
Wow, 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 Thailand. You really know how to make your shopping malls. Hey, it's pink. It's my future house. Oh my God, no. So we are upstairs and we're gonna try this cuisine right there. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks amazing. You got these little squishy white little cakes. It comes with egg and a whole bunch of other stuff. Let's try it. That looks crazy. I have no idea what this dish is called. We don't actually eat that much Thai food. The only things I've had is pad thai and some curries. So this looks very interesting. You got some shrimp, tofu, pork crisps, I think, mushrooms, egg, and at the bottom you got that white squishy deliciousness. Whoa. I'm gonna mix up. She put all this sauce at the bottom. I think it's soy sauce with a whole bunch of chilies and goodness. Let's go. Mm. Not bad. Spicy, sweet, a combination of different flavors, but very, very tasty. Well, the sauce is so strong. The yeah, sauce is yeah. so strong. It's like, it's it's like a, a lot of, of citrus, sweetness, and saltiness as well. It's just bang in your mouth. Interesting. But the flavors are way too intense for my palate. But otherwise, everything else, like the noodles and the tofu, is really good. Guys, <laughs> let me know what that dish was called. It was very interesting. A bit too spicy and salty for me. But otherwise, nice combination of ingredients and flavors. Not bad. Next, we're gonna try these dumplings. I have no idea what they are, but they look huge and juicy. Let's have a few. All right. So the first thing I noticed were these were cold. They look really steaming hot, but I guess not. They're cold treats. I got one that has scallions, a whole bunch of greens, and another one that is shrimp. I'm gonna try the shrimp one first. Okay. We got that squishy rice noodle thing that we had before. Uh, prawns inside, you got soy sauce around it. Not too bad. Let's try out the green one. Oh. Uh, that's so many vegetables. Just tastes like a veggie bar. There's too many vegetables, man. Once again, very interesting Thai treats, but I don't know what I ate, and they were okay. You know, definitely an acquired taste for me. Next spot is this little curry noodle joint next to the river. Looks delicious. You get that river flavor. Eating right here on this uh, little kung fu little table that Jackie Chan would use to swing around his neck and fight people. And we've got some delicious food. Very excited. The green curry, a whole bunch of fillings. I can smell that bamboo though. And I know Delena don't like bamboo, so let's see how she goes. Soup tasting time. Good? That's delicious. Wow, delicious. Well, there you go. That is such a good curry. Compared to Thai curry that we get at home, this is really good. So some of the food was pretty good. Uh, some were a hit and miss. Uh, you know, I don't think people come here for the excellent Thai cuisine. Yeah. It's just for a little nibble before you go off and eat some real Thai food yes. on the streets. Plus there's a lot of shopping here, you which we'll shop. also check out. You come to shop. We're going to shop now. Let's go. It's a water fountain. It's highly efficient because what goes up and goes back down and then the suction pump sucks it up, pushes it out. Luxury stores that we can't afford. Let's go home now. Okay. Where's she going? Where the fuck's she going, man? I swear to God. What is she doing with all the kids here? She don't hug me like that, guys. She don't hug me like that. 
And on the top and final level, you've got yourself uh, Singapore Airport, a botanic garden full of restaurants. My lord, this place is beautiful. Wow. Look at this beautiful mochi at Kane Mochi. I'm gonna try one. Here's our mochi. Uh, Delana got lychee. I call it lychee though. And I got melon. So I think it's a uh, mochi cover ice cream inside. Yeah. Yeah? Ice cream inside, mochi skin. I'm gonna eat this one, guys. Oh, you guys have a bite first. Ready? Oh! Mmm! That's delicious. Mm. Oh, yeah. That tastes like some delicious, fresh ass, real lychee. The lychee is so good. Here's my melon one. It's not breaking apart. <laughs> yeah. Alright, guys. I'm gonna try. Oh! <laughs> trust, trust. Oh, trust. yum. No, no, no. It's delicious. It's really refreshing as well. Oh, my lord. You know what it tastes like? What? You know the lychee jelly? Yeah. From where? That you get in, like, when you were a kid, you get in that packet and then oh, you yeah. just like open it and, and you pop it in. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it tastes like that. Bit of nostalgia for her. That's how good it is. Bring her back to her primary school days when she was not so pretty, getting bullied <laughs> by the other kids. I did get bullied though. And then slowly, after eating more of the lychee jellies, she she blossomed, bosomed, some might say. <laughs> Great shopping mall. Bloody great, make sure you guys check it out. Siam, Icon, Icon Siam. I got an Icon living. Yeah, you make got sure it Make right. sure you guys check it out. Bloody you got hell. it right. Absolutely beautiful. So for dinner, we're going on the Horizon Cruise for a delicious buffet dinner feast. Yum. This is a Shangri-La hotel boat. We don't need a boat. Wow, it's a cruise ship buffet with all types of delicious food. Look at this. Fit for a Thai king, you've got international cuisine, local Thai cuisine as well, seafood. Look at that. Incredible. Oh, wow. Sashimi, sushi. Here we have a huge selection of desserts, fruits, and even an ice cream bar. Orange sherbet and vanilla, unlimited supply. And a whole bunch of carbs, mate. Bloody love carbs, eh? And we're eating on the water, look at that. That's our view for today. So while we're swimming on the sea, I'll be having a huge food buffet. And walking out here, guys, is our table with a magnificent view of Bangkok. Look at that. Well, imagine you guys ate on that. No, that wouldn't be fun at all. Oh. Big slab of maple ham, and the sir, the sh sir chef will cut it up. Yes. <laughs> so this is a bourbon maple ham. I'm assuming the bourbon maple is uh, dressed on top of that with grilled pineapples and apple on top. You can't see that, but the skin is actually fruit. So here's our table, and look how cool this thing is. It's like a kimono, a little samurai sword. <laughs> It's just a napkin though. So the cruise is about to begin and I'm here on a hot day with my beautiful, beautiful future wife. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Oops. Excuse me. Nice to meet you again. Nice to meet you. It's actually our four year anniversary and yes, it is. I have set this up for you. Oh. This egg that lights up. We've Thank got some non-alcoholic so drinks. I love this. With this beautiful view for this beautiful woman. And I love that we can also share it with you guys so you guys can oh, yeah. be a part of our romantic date. Yeah, uh, we're gonna, you know, there's gonna be some smoochy moochy romantic kind of stuff. Uh, I might lean in to kiss every now and then, but then I'll turn around and you guys can kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> this is like what you do if you have like a VR. 
Yeah. <laughs> you know, looks like you can like Welcome choose what to do. to the date with Delina. Would you Cute. like to say, you look beautiful? Or B, what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> Write in the comments, guys, what you want to say. <laughs> oh, they chose C. What's C? Nothing. Oh my god. Take, <laughs> take it off. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to god, this is a, a samurai kimono for a baby. I'm telling you, I'll keep this for my future son. Are you hinting something? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so close to the water, babe. Don't say anything well. too crazy. I might just jump. All right, so we got the buffet GF with her yes. GF buffet duties. The plan is to get a bit of everything. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. Yeah. Oh, except vegetables, of course. What's that? <laughs> Getting some deep fried fish now. Yum. Perfect. Her favorite thing ever. She, she's already had some today. It's that green chicken curry. Alright, I think I need to help her out a little bit because that plate's getting full and I want a lot of that seafood. Because that's the most expensive thing, Chinese people. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna try to squeeze some of this bolognese. A bit of Italian in my tofu. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. All oh, right, okay. So the boat has started to move and I, I had no idea because I was too busy getting all these delicious sushi, man. Look at that, unlimited supply too. Can't wait to try it. How crazy is this right now? We are moving on a ship right at the front too. The captain's just right there. Oh, oh hot date's back. Hello, what did you get? I'm a potato dude. <laughs> you got so, some potatoes? Yes, I actually did. Yeah. I got a little bit of everything that was available, except for the vegetables. So that's lamb, potatoes, and something else. Chicken, Chicken. and then you've got uh, fish. Beautiful, let's dig in. I'm gonna try this first, guys. Oh, you guys can't see this. Wait, I wanna, sh I'll shine awesome. a light on it. Sorry, what? I'll shine a light on yeah, it. Yeah, not this again, babe. Look, so you can see, look oh, at that. Oh, that's pretty good. That's How's great. that? Yeah, that's really good. Guys, how crazy is this? This is like a cruise ship mukbang right now. Let's dig in. Salmon nigiri. What I love to do with sushi is get a piece of sashimi, dip it in soy sauce and wasabi, put it on top of that nigiri, and eat it together. That's a salmon explosion. I'm flying. I want to try the green curry chicken on rice. That. Better than the one you had oh, today. Oh, good. It's not as spicy. Oh, right. But that's a good Which I like. That's a good thing. Yes. Right. It's really delicious. So I want to try the fish now. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Feeling like a fish? Yeah. Nice. It's like a sweet and sour, deep fried fish. So good. Some chakwaitel. down. Very delicious noodles. And I love saying to chop it down. Mm. Oh? That was actually really good. Chop it down. Yeah. Chop it down. I was a bit shocked about that. All right, guys, we're just gonna enjoy the sights. When we go past some iconic landmarks of Thailand, we'll make sure you turn it on Wait, and show you. Am I not showing the viewers of me eating the potato? Oh, are you gonna do it? Cannibalism. Are you sure? <laughs> that just reminds me why yeah. um, a lot of people ask me why I don't eat pork. Yeah. It's just because I don't like to. Like, I just don't like pork. So if yeah. I accidentally eat pork, it's not. I'm not going to die from it. It's not a big deal. If I have, yeah. you know, ramen soup that's made from pork broth, I'm fine with that. I just don't like the taste right, of exactly. actual pork meat.
Bay. I'm loving this cruise. The people are so nice. It's not even rocky. I mean, right now it's so smooth. Yeah, it is. And also, food was delicious. I finished all my things. Had two rounds of sushi. He went for two. Two more. Amazing. Loving this cruise. We need to do it more often. Mm. Yeah? Well. You know what? You know what they need? They need a, a helicopter buffet. Or an aeroplane one. And you're having a buffet in the air. And the seats are dinner tables. Isn't that first class? Please, first class. Give me no. first class. One day. <laughs> Phone's here. Na, 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 na. Oh, eight ten. <laughs> I'll show you my sexy date. <laughs> so good. So good. This is me. I'll be like, now I'll be like. <laughs> You've never done that. Yeah, I've never done that. I feel like if you don't accept us at our worst then we can't show you our best selves. Delana Monroe. <laughs> Killing it with the quotes. You know what? I think I said that wrong. But what I'm trying to say is, we always- That was always... super wrong. <laughs> Dessert. By the water. <laughs> We're just gonna enjoy this mukbang style ASMR. You don't have to see my Squidward face. Just the beauty of Delana. I'm having some ice cream. Oh my god, that ice cream was amazing. Oh. I'm not even joking, that ice cream was like the first time I've ever eaten ice cream when I was a kid and I got like a euphoric moment. That's what this ice cream tastes like. Wait, I can't even see your face. <laughs> this looks like a horror movie. <laughs> and we are back. <laughs> that was that was crazy was actually. It scary? Yeah. You should do one bite. I have this now, yeah. Guys, have the first bite. All yours. Enjoy. Mmm. Oh, not bad, but the uh, the ice cream is definitely my favorite. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, the ice cream is really good. Wow. Wow. Mm. I'm gonna try this traditional Thai dessert wrapped in banana leaves. And I think it's like a rice dessert. Make sure I don't cover Delaney's beautiful face. Oh my god. No. It's just a potato face. Imagine you on a cruise by yourself and then you saw her eating a huge You'll feast. You'll run away. You would fall in love straight away like I did. Is that how you fell in love with me? Yes. Anyway, here's the dessert. As you can see, sticky rice with some sort of bean inside. I hope it's bean. It's kind of dark. I can't really see. It might be anything. Let's hope it's not anything. All right, let's try some. It's a That was interesting. Very sticky. Very soft. Very strange. <laughs> what is that, chocolate? Yeah, you won't like it. No, no. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of chocolate, guys. It's just too chocolatey for me. All right? That's why it's more for me. How was everything else? Decent? The mousse tastes exactly like a black forest. It's got cherries inside as well, so I really enjoyed that. The apple pie is really nice. The um, pastry was quite soft though, so I didn't enjoy it as much. And the chocolate cake, standard chocolate cake. And I haven't tried this one yet. Can you please try this one? All right. Whereas the ice cream is definitely the high line because it's delicious. Guys, <laughs> have a bite. Oh. Just joking, smell, man. How is it? Taste interesting. Are you doing your own ASMR? Yeah. I'll talk in a low voice if you like. I actually don't know why people enjoy ASMR. Because it tingles your ear. And then you got those girls that do ASMR and they like pretty much deep throat the mic. Really? And uh, yeah, and people love it. Like they get to. What do you off. mean, like actually put them like yeah. down their throats? Well, like not not completely, but a little bit. Oh, yeah, okay. very sexual, very sexual. People love that. Everyone else who enjoys ASMR when it comes to food, I guess it's just soothing to the ears, makes them tingle a little bit. 
But that's just like, you know, if you have like nails scratching down a chalkboard or something. Well, that's that's a bad ASMR. That's a nightmare ASMR. People like that. I don't know what they do. I don't watch a lot of ASMR, but I heard it's great. You guys should watch my one. I did an Asian dad one. That was good. <laughs> anyway, guys, that was dessert. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We love you. If you enjoy this cruise, make sure you guys check it out. Beautiful, amazing food, amazing people, a great time. Very romantic. Bring your date here. I love you, babe. Happy four year anniversary. Thank you for joining us. We love you. This one, I'm getting two. No, <laughs> no. Getting all two. What oh, are you no. about? What a cutie. <laughs> love you. Mwah. That was for my girl, not you guys. All right, relax. Oh! Let's get freaky, gal! <laughs>